Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make your microphone louder or boost the volume of your mic on a Windows 11 PC or laptop. If your mic is too quiet, the methods in this video will help to make it louder. We have two main methods to boost the mic volume, as well as a few quick methods at the beginning. The first main method is to check within the sound control panel, and if that method doesn't work, the second method should help. We do need to download some software for the second method, but the setup is fairly simple and I'll guide you through the full process step by step. Remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe if the video helps. Let's get into the methods. To boost your microphone volume within Windows 11, firstly check on the mic itself for a dial or similar that might change the mic sensitivity. Not all microphones will have this, but it is worth checking just in case. The next thing you might want to try is adjusting the mic level within the app that you are using. Not all software will allow for this though, but try looking in the audio settings to see if there's any option. This will most likely help if you find your mic to be too quiet in just a few apps. Also, it's worth mentioning that if you don't use your microphone live, then you could possibly use software like Audacity to boost the volume of it after recording. Click the card on screen now if you want to learn how to safely download, install and set up Audacity in Windows. You may also need an external power supply depending on the mic you have for it to work properly, so search your make and model of microphone to see if this is the case. Now moving on to the main fixes, the first method will be to boost the microphone volume within the sound control panel. To get to the sound control panel, first go to the main control panel, you can get there by searching for it in the search bar. In the control panel, click on hardware and sound. Now click on sound and it should open a new window. In the new window, go to the recording tab, which should be the second option. Find the microphone you want to boost from the list and double click on it to open the properties window. Now go to the levels tab. Hopefully in this tab, you see at least two options. There should be a zero to 100 slider and a boost slider. Increase the number of the top slider to increase the level of your microphone. If it's already at 100, then you can add a boost by increasing the second boost slider. If you only see the top slider and you don't have the option to boost, then unfortunately not all mics will support this, so don't worry. However, there are a few things we can try in order to get the boost slider. The first thing to try will be to go to the advanced tab and then uncheck the two boxes within here. You can also try another port on your PC. You can try and update your drivers, and this can be done by going to the properties for your microphone again, then the driver tab, then update driver, and then the automatic search. Allow Windows to look for any driver updates. It is most likely that Windows won't find any. And finally, it might be worth running the recording audio troubleshooter, just to quickly check that there are no problems with your microphone. To do this, go to the main settings page by searching for it, and then in the settings, click on system from the options on the left side, although you should be in here by default. In the system settings, click on troubleshoot, and then on the next page, choose other troubleshooters. Now click on run next to the recording audio troubleshooter and choose the device you want to use or the port it is connected to and allow Windows to look for any possible problems. After trying each of these, check to see if you now have the boost option. If you do, then feel free to increase it, but if you don't, we'll move on to the second main solution. The next solution will require you to install a piece of software called Equalizer APO. I've made videos on this software before to boost the volume of your headphones, but it can also be used to boost your mic too. You'll need to head to the website, the link to this will be in the description. By following the link, you should be on this page. If your operating system is 64-bit, and most of yours will be, then you can click this green download button here. If you have a 32-bit operating system, you will need to download the software from another place. This version can be found by going to the Downloads tab, and then you can choose the version with 32 in its name. Start the download for the version you need, and allow it to complete. Before we move on, if your download didn't start automatically, then click on the grey Problems Downloading button, and then click on the blue Direct Link button, and it should now begin downloading. If it still doesn't work, then you could try a different browser. Once downloaded, click on it in your browser to open it up. You should be prompted with the user account control screen and you will need to choose yes on this. Now you should see the installation window. First click next and then I agree. Now you'll need to choose a destination folder for the software. The default location should be fine, but just make sure you make note of where you save it as we will need to find it later. 
Click next when you are happy with the location and now you should be able to choose if you want it in this start menu folder. You can choose do not create shortcuts by checking the box and you are now ready to click install. Once it has installed, it will prompt you with a new window. In here, we will need to first go to the Capture Devices tab, and then you should be able to choose your microphone from the list. If you don't see your microphone, check that it is connected properly. Check the box next to it, and then click on OK, and then OK again. You will now need to restart your PC for it to be able to boost your microphone. Feel free to do that now by choosing Reboot Now, or manually reboot later if you have work open, but of course remember to save anything you are currently doing. Return to the video once you've restarted your PC and we will be able to continue with the setup. So now you should have restarted and the first thing we will need to do is go to the place that we saved the software. For me, it was within the Program Files folder, which is found by going to this PC in the File Explorer and then Local Disk. The folder you need to click on is called Equalizer APO and within it you need to open the application called Editor. You may get a message that says Equalizer APO has not been installed on the selected device, but don't worry, just click No. We now need to find where it says Device at the top. Click on the drop down box and select your microphone under where it says Capture Devices. You may also need to change the channel configuration drop down box next to it to Stereo for example. There should be three options to change on the page, but we only need to change the value in the preamplification section which should be at the top. That means you can remove the other two options if you wish by selecting the red remove button. If you don't see preamplification, then you can add it by clicking on the green plus icon and then choosing basic filters and then preamp. Increase the gain slightly and then you can test your mic. The default should be minus six and I would recommend taking it up to around minus three at first as the more you boost your mic, the lower the quality will be. Remember to click file and then save to make sure your changes are implemented. If the software doesn't appear to make any changes to your mic level, then there are some things to try on the Equalizer APO download page, and this link will also be in the description. There's also more help on how to install the software on there too if you need it. Also, if you ever want to uninstall the software, then just head back to the Equalizer APO folder and run the application called Uninstall and follow the steps. And so those are my methods to make your microphone louder or boost the volume of your mic on a Windows 11 PC or laptop. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways you can speed up your Windows PC. Help support the channel by visiting the store, the link is in the description and at the end of the video. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below, and if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like, and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.